Hello guys, and I hope you are doing well. Spaza? What? Did you get a new camera? What? Do, you, do I see some production value? What, what's going on here? Well, let me tell you, I uh, didn't. This is not a new webcam, this is not a new camera or anything. I just did some very high stake, very expensive investments here and I bought some extremely advanced equipment um, exactly a light ring from Amazon for around $20, so I can look a bit more decent. Tankyless keyboards have become a staple in my everyday life. I used to be a common man just like you, rocking a full-size mechanical keyboard until I realized it's way more convenient to have a board that doesn't really take that much space on my desk. Even then, sometimes when I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash 17 the greatest Twitch channel of all time combining great gameplay and entertainment, please follow, I find myself in the situation where I have to switch between scenes rapidly. I obviously can't afford an Elgato Stream Deck, so what's the best alternative? Using the numpad on your keyboard, of course. Obviously numpads don't really exist on a standard tankless keyboard, but what if I told you there's a way to get a nice compact keyboard that's as big as a tankless while also including a numpad? Well, that's what 96% keyboards are for. Kind of a rare layout, novelty if you will, designed for people with very great specific gamer needs such as myself. After doing some research, the one that really stuck out to me was the Ipomaker GK96S. After all, Ipomaker is known to make some very high quality boards, so after getting in touch they were kind enough to send this keyboard my way so that I could make this review, so big thanks to Ipomaker for that. I'm very excited to try out this keyboard because it's got a bunch of different unique features outside of just the layout. However, before I get into my review, I'd like to remind you all to like this video, subscribe, and if you really enjoy my content, I don't have a Patreon or anything, but you can always choose to become a YouTube member. By becoming a YouTube member, you're not only supporting me more directly, but you also get some nice perks. I know you do YouTube memberships for VTubers, so you've got no excuses. Link is in the description. That being said, let's get to the unboxing. And there it is, that's the box right there. Designed by Ipomaker, manufactured by Sky Long or Lung, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest, it's two O's. Opening up the box we can see the keyboard itself and some paperwork. Normally I don't really care about the paperwork, but in this case it's extremely useful because it allows you to check the various shortcuts and features for this particular board, as well as a brief look at other Ipomaker products. Taking the keyboard out it looks great, but we're gonna set it aside for now. Inside the box we have a very nice looking silver braided cable and three small bags containing extra magic. Just kidding, it's not that exciting, but to go into detail we have some keycaps for Windows functions, cause the board comes with Mac keycaps by default but it's compatible with both, so you can change them according to what system you use. We also have some extra teal keycaps in case you don't like the stock orange design and the keycap slash switch puller because this keyboard is indeed hot swappable too. There's also two extra switches but I don't wanna spoil it yet. I'm gonna free this keyboard from its plastic chamber and look at that. That looks pretty goddamn slick in my opinion, absolutely love the design. In the back we have 5 rubber feet and 2 rubber tipped flip up feet with 2 different levels, so you can set your keyboard on the angle that's most comfortable for you. Since I use Windows I'm gonna proceed to put the Windows keycaps on and ooh, will you look at that, I actually got Gateron mechanical blue switches. Wait, what? Tactile switches? He has gone mad! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm fine, I'm not being held hostage, I just thought with how unique this board is, I'd go with something different just to test the waters and see what's up. I don't really have to worry if I don't enjoy blue switches though, because I can always swap them whenever I want anyway. I'm gonna plug the keyboard in and lo and behold, RGB LEDs. Yep, keyboard comes with RGB too. You can customize it by either using the FN key shortcuts or the software provided by Ipomaker themselves, so you can further personalize your profile. 
Me personally, I think this keyboard looks great with no LEDs on, so I'll keep them off for now. Before the typing ASMR begins, we need to know, is this keyboard really as small as a tankyless? The answer is yes. As you can see, it's just as big as my HyperX Alloy Origin Score, aka the cheater keyboard, so they delivered on their promise, which is great. Now, let's go for a typing test. Ah yes, the clicky sound of blue switches, the one you love and your neighbors hate. What a classic. As you likely heard, stabilizers come in nicely lubed, which is a plus. As for typing, it's definitely an interesting experience. The keycap profile is called GK1 and it's a very unique one because it's designed by Ipomaker. Similarly to a cherry profile, each row varies from each other in terms of height and inclination, though the keys are definitely a bit taller and more rounded on top. For me, I find them to be very comfortable for typing and arguably even more than cherry. But will this feeling transition well into Osu gameplay? Surprisingly, yeah. Even though this keyboard is not exactly marketed as a gaming one, it feels super nice to play on. I don't really want to use polling rate as an argument cause, like I explained in my keyboard polling rate video, it's very much negligible for OSU standard in my opinion. For what it's worth though, it is indeed 1000Hz, so take that how you will. It will probably be good for other more complex riff games too. I was also very pleased with gutter on blue switches actually. They are miles better than Cherry MX Blues, which are the ones I had tried previously, so I definitely recommend them if you want to try something new and tactile. They are still way too loud for me, so I'll probably switch back to linears soon. Actually, you know what? Let me get some gutter on yellows on there. Yeah, boy, that's the stuff. Yellow switches are great, invest now, cause these are going to the moon in the future, trust me. As I provide you with more outstanding gameplay, let me give you some extra info. If you're on the go, this keyboard is provided with Bluetooth 5.1, so you can use it wireless and connect it to portable devices like tablets, or if you're a complete lunatic, you can use it to type on your phone. Don't know why you do that, but whatever floats your boat, I suppose. Connects up to three devices, works like a charm, but I wouldn't recommend it for us because there is gonna be a slight delay. One of the things I really like about Ipo Maker is the amount of personalization available when you choose your keyboard on their website. I personally picked Dysub PBT keycaps, but ABS options are available for those of you who really want the RGB and gamer power to pop off. As a side note, the cable varies based on the case color. I got a silver cable because I chose the white case, but if you pick a black case, you'll get a black braided cable. There's also a softball version intended for left-handed users, where the numpad is located on the left side, but apparently there's no arrow keys, which is kind of strange. As for the switches, you get 8 types of Gateron mechanical switches to choose from, ranging from more standard ones like reds or browns, to more wild and wacky ones like greens or whites. Overall, I absolutely love this keyboard and I definitely recommend it for both everyday use and gaming. If I have to think of some cons, I guess it could be a bit tricky to replace the keycaps because they are very unique and they have a different layout compared to most other keycaps out there. Maybe you won't get used to the layout immediately and I definitely see why that is because it's very different. I am normally not a huge fan of keyboard designs where all keys are just kinda mashed together, but in this case it's got a purpose, it fits the numpad in a small amount of space, it's great for streaming, great for playing. So honestly, this will probably be my main board for the time being. Thanks again to Ipo Maker for sending this keyboard my way. If you want to buy this or any other keyboard from Ipo Maker, make sure to check their website, I leave a link down there in the description, so they can know I sent you there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, but this keyboard is just slightly above $100. What? absolute steel in my opinion, so if you're looking for a 96% keyboard, look no further than this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment down below giving me your thoughts. That being said, I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one guys.
Special thanks to my YouTube members, FRZ, Darkrix and Axern.